Inside the Westland courtroom this afternoon, tearful families, the family of 16-year-old murder victim Carly Morse and the family and friends of the men accused of killing her, 19-year-old Justin Yoshikawa and 22-year-old Brian Cottrell, also under arrest and charged as an accessory after the fact, Brian's mother. Did you state your name for the record, please? Tina Lowe. The three in court for a preliminary exam where the prosecution would lay out its case. But today, a delay, meaning they'll all be back in court in January. Tina Lowe's family frustrated. We're just in shock. Yoshikawa's friends angry. I disagree with the position that the media has taken. While the legal wrangling is playing out in court, detectives at the Westland Police Department are still searching for Carly Morse. Right now we're following up on tips that the suspects have given us. Police say Brian and Justin confessed to killing her when Carly went missing back in August. Investigators say Tina Lowe may have helped in the aftermath, but Carly's body has never been found. Investigators are urging people with information to come forward. And we also heard that they have been free with their information with friends and possibly family. So there's other people out there that may know uh, what they've said, what they've done. Westland detectives are devoting a lot of time and resources to this case, and it has been excruciating for the Morse family to not know where Carly is. If you have any information at all, you can remain anonymous, and you can call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP, or you can email your tip to the Westland Police Department to crimetips at WLPD.net. In Westland, I'm Christy McDonald, Channel 7 Action News. All right.